I'll just lean back and whisper in their ear, I hope this line lasts forever. <laughs> you gotta have fun, folks. Here's something fun you can do. Next time you're at a coffee shop, you see somebody working on their laptop, set your laptop right across from theirs and go, B7, B7. <laughs> Hit or miss, what do we got? Hit or miss. Right. I like to do this, if I see somebody log into their Facebook page, I like to get their name, take a picture of the back of their head, make that my profile picture, and then send them a friend request. Just <laughs> <laughs> scare the heck out of them, they're like, what the heck? Like, hey, we're gonna be buddies, yeah. gotta have fun, folks. I like to argue with people on Facebook. You ever argue with people on Facebook? Oh, yeah. Not in this day and age, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, I love to argue with people on Facebook, but I like to get like 50 comments going back and forth and then delete all my comments. <laughs> so they just look like a crazy person arguing with themselves. I was at this coffee shop today and I'm standing in line. You ever standing in line somewhere when someone stands really close behind you, you know? You feel their hot, creepy breath against your neck. It's like, do you want to cuddle? What are you doing? So here's what I like to do when that happens, right? I'll just lean back and whisper in their ear, I hope this line lasts forever. <laughs> that usually works, yeah. <laughs> You ever accidentally start a line, you know? You're just standing around at the bank waiting for a friend, you know? <laughs> Some people are lining up behind you. Is this a line for the loans? Yep. <laughs> I don't care, I got three hours to kill. <laughs> I'll screw up your day. <laughs> are you ever standing in line the couple in front of you is making out? I never know what to do, right? So I'll just start softly stroking the girl's hair. <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> That's why I got in this line. <laughs> Speaking of creepy, how about this moon? Holy man. Right? It's such a creepy moon. It's like, I don't know. It's like the stars have a restraining order against it. Uh, you stay over there, Moon. Uh, oh man, they, they put me up in a hotel. I'm on, the, I'm on the elevator. You ever on the elevator by yourself and then somebody else gets on, right? You guys gotta go to those neutral corners, you know? Like you're gonna wrestle or something, right? You guys get that weird greeting. It's like a combination of hello and how are you, but it makes no sense. Like, hey, hi, hey, 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 hey. You like to respond the same way. Hey, 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 hey. I once rode up 19 floors with this guy, didn't say a word to me, gets off the elevator. He's like, see you later. <laughs> see me later. Are you following me? <laughs> I had one lady get off the elevator and she's like, thank you. I didn't invent the elevator, lady. <laughs> you know? I think if anything, once you get off the elevator, you just insult the person, all right? Just get over there. See you later, stinky pants. All right. I was like, I don't have stinky pants. Why would you say that? How do you know I have stinky people? Yeah. <laughs> Here's something fun. Next time you're on the elevator, the person asks you, what floor do you want? Just look at him and go, same floor as you. <laughs> <laughs> or I like to do this as the elevator doors are closing. I'll just start running toward it with an out of order sign. Wait! <laughs> You ever get off on the wrong floor? Oof. That's embarrassing, right? You guys feel the need to have to explain it to everyone else in the elevator? Do you care less? Like, oh, I thought that was three, but it's only two. <laughs> I didn't know when, numerically. <laughs> I'm from Milwaukee. <laughs> Who flew out here? I had to go through uh, airport security. Have you done this recently? Right? Uh. Yeah, they do, they do that full body scan, right? But, but I figured out a, way to get, out a way to get out of the full body scan. Here's what we do if we want to get out of the full body scan. Creepily ask for the full body scan. <laughs> Just 
just walk up to the TSA guy. Yeah, I'd like the uh, full body scan, please. <laughs> what do I owe you? Uh, they're like, no, he's good, he's good. He's not a terrorist. Get out of here, weirdo. I like to do this when they're patting me down. I like to go, you'll never find it. <laughs> That tickles, yeah. I fly uh, Southwest Airlines. I flew uh, Los Angeles to Salt Lake City. Uh, 87 stops is, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a bus, that airline. I don't know, people are ringing for their stops. Um, oh, it's ridiculous. But on that airline, they have, the, uh, they have the group seating. They get bored in groups, like they have A and B. I'm always in the C group, which is like all the weirdos, you know? The people that forgot to, to check in 24 hours, so they're like, hey, what's, you know, I, I didn't know there was a thing. Um, but then I got on the plane, and the stewardess says to me, she goes, you can sit in any empty seat. Yeah, I know how seats work, right? I'm like, can I sit on this man? Is that all right to sit on a man? No. How about this lady? No. A child? No. Okay. Oh, an empty seat. Okay. I get it. I understand. And, uh... I don't know, it's always weird on that airline. I, I, I don't like when people want to talk to you either. That's always weird. Right? Like, hey. I realize I, I can't do that bit because it's super dirty. Uh, <laughs> that's for Los Angeles. Uh, those heathens, seeing, seeing heck. Um, <laughs> no. What was your name again? Matt, oh, good to have you, Matt. I, uh, Matt, I'm backstage in my dressing room before the show, and uh, by dressing, I mean in the alley by a dumpster. Uh, <laughs> there I am, gang. Guy walks up to me, offers me drugs. Now, kids, I didn't know what to do, but luckily, I was able to recall an ABC after school special, which told you exactly what to do in that sort of situation. So the guy walks up and goes, hey, you want some drugs? I'm like, no way, man, drugs are for nerds. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of slowly backed away from me. <laughs> we'll see you later, weirdo. I said, I'll see you at the show, Matt. And, uh... <laughs> so fun. You can put anyone's name in that joke, man. Um, <laughs> So let's see, I'm originally from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's about right. Uh, he was like, oh, that's what they look like. All right. You never seen one up close. They all look like Biff from Back to the Future. All right. All right. Now, originally, I'm from uh, Milwaukee. I, I actually, I, I live in Los Angeles now and experienced my first earthquake about six months ago. And a little embarrassing, right after it happened, you know, right away, I started looting, and uh, <laughs> things are a little awkward around the apartment complex. Uh, I'm having to return items to neighbors. Yeah, I thought that was a big one. I, uh, I thought there'd be no survivors, to be quite honest. I don't know what a 3.2 is. Uh, here's your cat. Um, it's the first thing I go for. Um, I like Los Angeles, but where I live, it's actually kind of a dangerous neighborhood. Actually, there's a Hispanic gang in the area, or as they like to call themselves, uh, cholos, uh, which sounds like a delicious snack treat. Uh, I'm sure, it's like a deep fried pastry, you put sugar on it. Uh, that's a churro, turn that to churro. Uh, do not put sugar on a cholo. It'll confuse them for a minute, and you can make a run for it. Um, if they're diabetic, they'll have a seizure. <laughs> um, but I'm at the grocery store the other day, I see one of these uh, cholo fellows, and he's got one of these teardrop tattoos, you ever seen those? Which are just adorable. <laughs> but my buddy says that means he killed somebody in the joint, yeah. But you know what I think it means? I think it means someone needs a hug, yeah. <laughs> Turns out I was wrong, did not want a hug. Um, <laughs> no, you know if they have the filled in teardrop tattoo, it means they actually did kill somebody. And if five of them are filled in, they can get a free car wash. Uh, <laughs> quite a deal there. Uh, 
Any gangs here tonight? Do we have any gangs here? Uh, or as you guys call them, uh, wards? Uh, <laughs> A lot of drive-by conversions. <laughs> ching, 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 join us, ching, ching. Um, get in the basket. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get beat up by Mormons tonight. Uh, it's gonna be the special feature on this special. Um, <laughs> beaten by Mormons. The Tom Clark story. Um, now be careful of the gangs though, folks, especially here in Provo. Uh, no, I don't know if you know this, if you're driving at night, you see someone with their headlights off, do not flash them with your headlights. It's some sort of gang initiation, right? They'll go after you. So now if I'm driving at night, I see someone with their headlights off, you know, I, I shoot them. Uh, <laughs> why risk it, right? Safety first. <laughs> that old lady could win packet for all I know. Uh, I am not in a gang, don't let the uh, Target outfit fool you. Uh, Yes, it is Target, it's Italian. Um, Massimo, I believe is the designer's name. Uh, Massimo Morona. Um, Massimo is an Italian word meaning under $20. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> you have the best laugh ever. Uh, I feel like an angel just flew away. <laughs> adorable. Um, let's see, I, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to be nice. People here are very nice. Sometimes people though are too nice, you know? Like ever at the mall or something and somebody holds the door open for you, but you're really far away? <laughs> you're like, holy man, I'm gonna have to jog. I better stretch out. And you feel obligated to make that big 20 yard dash to the door so Mr. Helpful can feel good about himself. It's not even the place you want to go into in the first place. Like, oh, thanks a lot. I've been in a stop by Lane Bryant. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I try to be nice, then it gets awkward, you know? Like, they like ever go to shake somebody's hand, they don't return the favor? Some of your hands out there in no man's land, you know? I don't know what to do, right? So I'll just start tickling the guy. Hey, what you do? Ba -boo, ba -boo. And I'll blow on his stomach. <laughs> then I go right in for the interview. Right? <laughs> this job's in the bag. <laughs> you ever go to shake somebody's hand they don't have a hand? <laughs> That's awkward, right? Just do what I do. I just go, paper, rock, I win. All right, whatever. <laughs> Here's what you do if you never want to shake somebody's hand ever again. Here's what you do. Immediately after you shake their hand, smell your hand. <laughs> no, my pleasure. <laughs> Don't judge me. You guys will be at church. Peace be with you. Hello. <laughs> so anyone celebrating a birthday? Anyone's birthday today? Anyone's that guy looked right at you, buddy. Uh, is it your birthday? Yeah. Well, then celebrate it, my friend. Come on. How, what's your name? Ammon. Ammon. No, I think he spelled it wrong. A-M-A-N? Uh, A-M-M-O-N. A-M-M-O-N. Uh, Ammon. All right. Good luck to you. Uh, you ever do this? You ever let somebody call you the wrong name? Yeah, because you just don't feel like correcting them. And like six months later, you finally tell me, like, no, my name isn't John, it's uh, Tom. <laughs> like, why didn't you that in the beginning? Yeah, I wasn't planning on knowing you this long. Yeah. yeah. So, Ammon, is this your brother here? No. No, just a guy? All right, just a... Uh, just your stalker. Uh, what if I sit with you guys? Um, and how old are you, Ammon? 17. Oh, 17. Congratulations. That's the, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, 17. Is these your parents? You got cool parents taking you out on the town, huh? 
<laughs> or the lamest kid ever. I don't know. Uh, You ever do that? Never done any Am and Eggs! Uh, <laughs> it'd be funny if that was your brother's name, Eggs. Am and Eggs! Bacon, get down here! <laughs> Side of toast? Um, <laughs> what's your, is it, are you, this is your dad? What's your name, sir? Tom. Tom, okay, so you were like, oh, let's mess with Ammon. Uh, <laughs> hey, how about Ammon? I don't care. <laughs> Not my name. Uh, I'm Tom, who cares? Yeah, Ammon. I love it. Ammon, you're a cool kid. You seem like a cool, confident kid, way better than me. Um, no, I, uh, I used to lie about my age, you know, but the problem with lying about your age is that eventually you have to do math, right? Because people be like, how old are you? 31. Where did you graduate high school? Uh, yeah, I didn't go. I, uh, I was homeschooled. I was homeschooled. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you giving it up for homeschooling? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got the homeschool table over here. Oh boy. Class president, what's up? Palm queen. Uh, School table. Uh, <laughs> Ammon, eventually, that'll be you. Uh, <laughs> are you a good student, Ammon? You do well. How's, how are you in math? I'm good at math. You're good at I'm, I was terrible at math. And I'll tell you what gave me the most, biggest problem growing up multiplication. So here's what I would do I, with multiplication, I would associate the numbers with things that I knew. So take the problem like seven times seven, I would think seven castaways on Gilligan's Island. Who was the star of Gilligan's Island? Bob Denver. Denver's in Colorado. When you think of Colorado, what do you think of? Mountains. Mountains in Spanish is montañas, which is spelled the same as Montana. Who's the most famous Montana? Joe Montana, who played for? The 49ers. Uh, <laughs> The homeschool table is furiously working that out. Wait a minute, uh, hold on a minute here. Uh, we haven't gotten to the sevens yet. Uh, <laughs> you guys text, do you have your own cell phone, Ammon? Do they give you a cell phone? Oh, that's nice, good old Tom. Uh, guy with, what's on your neck? What is that? Headset, let's get that out of here, thank you. Uh, I know you're reading my thoughts. I know how the Mormons work. Uh, get out of my head. Um, here's something I didn't like with cell phones. I don't like when people use the LOL, the laugh out loud. You ever that friend, they overuse it? They'll be like, hey, how you doing, LOL? Really, you're laughing out loud at how you doing? Hey, turn into that maniac on the street. Hey, what's up? <laughs> How about this weather? <laughs> all right, take it easy, lunatic, all right? Yeah. You ever not put somebody's name in your phone, but it's just like a vague description of them, right? We have that one name in our phone, it's just like characteristics that describe the person, right? Right, you scroll through your phone like, who the heck's fat Asian guy? <laughs> this is a fun joke you can play on a friend, Ammon, you can do this to your dad. Here's what you do, go into their phone, change your contact name to, like, God, and then call him at, like, 4 a.m. <laughs> they just wake up from a dead sleep, they're like, what? I shouldn't have named him Ammon. I, uh, that's the signal right there. Here's, here's what I like to do. Next time, this is fun. Next time somebody calls you and it's the wrong number, here's what you do. They ask you for someone who isn't there, you ask them for someone who isn't there. So like, is Bill there? I'm like, no, is Todd over there? <laughs> well, the search continues, huh? All right, good luck. <laughs> I don't like when people use air quotes. You ever see those weirdos, right? We have that one friend who will try to use air quotes. They have no idea what they're doing, right? 
just randomly start using them in the middle of their story, like, yeah, I was walking down the street the other day, and I saw a curb, and I tripped and fell into a puddle. After a while, I saw like one of those velociraptors from Jurassic Park. So I got all wet, so I started shaking myself off like a dog. You guys are like, did I just have a seizure? What just happened? I was uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I don't understand. Air quotes are weird because you don't use them for other forms of punctuation, you know? Like parentheses? How great would that be, parentheses? You're walking down the street, you see someone you don't like. Hey, nice to see you. I hate your guts. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you can't hear me because I'm talking in parentheses. Or you're hanging up a painting in your house, you're hammering away, you're like, honey, this new painting's gonna look great. Oh, ampersands, pound sign, asterisk. <laughs> Son of an anus circle. <laughs> -wee. Man, that hurts. Dang it. Ouch. Exclamation point. I don't know if you guys are catching this here. <laughs> Some of you guys are looking like, what the heck? <laughs> Some of the Spanish people are like, eh? <laughs> 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 let's see. Uh, I, um, let's see. I just got married uh, last week. It was two years. Uh, last week, a two year anniversary of being married. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. She is great. She is uh, a rescue. And... <laughs> Take it easy, lady. She, she wrote the joke. Uh, no, she is great. She still gets spooked by loud noises, but uh, I love her very much. Um, she is wonderful. No, we, uh, we've been married now two years. And uh, how, Tom, how long have you been married? Is this your wife here? Yes. Yeah. How long have you been married? 21 years. Oh, Tom went to her on that. Uh, 21, 21, yeah, 21, yes, yeah. I was gonna say four, but yeah, 21. Uh, 21 years, and what's your name, ma'am? Andrea. Andrea, am I saying that right? Uh, it's not like a ampersands thrown in there. It's Andrea with an A and an A. Okay, moving on. Um, Tom and Andrea, and 21 years together. What do you think the big key is? How have you made it work for 21 years? Do what she says to do. <laughs> right. I mean, I'll take it easy. It's not a rally, ladies. Uh, yeah, girl pie. Um, it's not do what she says to do. It's communication. Communication. <laughs> it's communication, Tom, because I have a joke about it. Shut up. <laughs> Cooperate. Um, You gotta communicate, right? Let me tell you what, the first girl I dated, we did not communicate. Let me tell you what happened. Six months into the relationship, I find out she only speaks Spanish. Uh, you, you think you know a person after that amount of time? And at first I thought she was just talking really fast. And I got one of these Dear Juan letters and uh, kind of for the two of us, you know, you gotta move on, so. I'm a little troubled that I'm hitting so hard with the homeschooled group. They're really, like, we're like on the same page. They're like, yes, this guy can get into our school. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna give you a scholarship. So what I did, I started uh, dating a girl I work with, right? And then a buddy of mine said, you shouldn't date people you work with. So I, uh, I got her fired. <laughs> it 
seemed to upset her quite a bit. So, uh, did a little research and I read this, that women, uh, women love a guy with a foreign accent. Andrea, what's your favorite foreign accent you could hit any guy in the whole world? Australian, a little wee wee, huh? <laughs> uh, that's French, I know, but uh, I wasn't really expecting Australian. Okay, let's, let's stick to the script here, guys. We're shooting a big special here. Uh, don't ruin this! Uh, that's fine, that's fine. We'll edit this out later. Okay. Um, no, I, I, so I try out the foreign accent the other night. I got to one of these posh nightclubs here in Provo. Uh, one of the hot clubs, uh, Denny's. Uh, and, uh, no, I try out the foreign accent. You know, I casually approach, I'm playing it cool. I'm like, Haro, you are very beautiful. She goes running out of there like I'm some sort of weirdo. I don't care, I'm on a date a racist like that anyways. Doesn't like Asian dudes, whatever. Konichiwa, Yamaha. So, what I've been doing lately, uh, do you still surprise your lady after 21 years, Tom? You still surprise her? Yes. <laughs> that was the longest pause ever. I was, I wasn't even sure you're gonna have. Does he still surprise you? No, okay. Uh, and that is marriage, right there. Uh, right there, yes, no. Um, <laughs> you got a supporter here, Tom. Uh, no, really surprise her, and I'm not talking flowers or breakfast in bed, here's what you do. Next time you lean in for a kiss, head butter. <laughs> Women love surprises, keep it spicy. Caliente, as they say in Australia. Um, I'll do the pickup lines. You ever do the pickup lines? Homeschool group, you guys, uh... <laughs> what do you guys do? Ding dong ditch. Uh... <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Are you guys twins? No. No, I just, okay, just look he's this. My oh, he's married to your sister. Well, good thing you're not related then. All right. Uh... <laughs> Very troubling. Uh, I'd have to really homeschool you guys. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, when you met, when you met his, <laughs> that's a weird question. When you met his sister, what'd you say? Um, did you have a good pickup line? What'd you say to her when you met her? We were friends first. Oh, you were friends first. Well, that's adorable. Uh, aren't you guys just the perfect couple? Um, I'm like, yes, no. Um, They're like, we just love each other. <laughs> now you gotta have a good pickup line. Something classy, right, Tom? Right? Like, excuse me, did you just fart? Because you really blew me away, huh? <laughs> Amen, don't end up like me. Uh, Amen, 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 Amen. Oh boy, Amen. You got to, uh, you got to have a good pickup line. I had one show I asked you on. I said, "Anyone have a good pickup line?" The guy shouted out, "Get in the truck!" <laughs> and I did. Uh, Anyways, <laughs> I like this couple's discussing the joke. Uh, Is that true? Did you really get in a truck? I don't know. Um, no, my, my wife is great, though. My wife always wants me to eat healthy, though, which I don't like, you know? Like, she's always making me go to Trader Joe's, you know? You know this place? You always have to comment on everything you buy, you know? Like, I cinnamon bread. You make French toast? You make some French toast? They don't do that at the regular store. They're like, are you getting the ho-hos? Are you sad inside? Are you sad inside? And then, can I have say? Okay. Uh, 
But uh, do be careful leaving here tonight, folks. Crime's certainly a big issue here on the streets of Provo. Uh, <laughs> the streets run wild. Um, now, you guys know this when you're walking your car, you're supposed to carry your keys like this. <laughs> That way, when the criminal approaches, you say, there you go, the black Honda Civic, all right? Uh, I'm always worried I'll, uh, I'll pull the wrong thing in my pocket. I'll be digging through my pocket. I'll pull, like, a tube of chapstick. I'll be like, ha-ha! There you go. You don't want to get chapstick? I was reading on the side of this as warning. Keep out of eyes. Who's ever jumped to that conclusion? Like, boy, that's so great on my lips. I wonder if it'll cure my glaucoma, though. Hello. <laughs> my wife always worries about getting mugged. So one thing we'll do, if we're in a really dangerous neighborhood, I'll have her run ahead of me. And I'll chase her. And then if there's any muggers in there, I'm like, all right, they already got that covered. I'll, uh... But uh, let's see, I'm going back to Los Angeles uh, on, on Sun Monday, and I have a big meeting over at Paramount. Um, that's a Starbucks across the street from Paramount. And uh, I'm pitching a new movie, and I'm pretty excited about this. I wanted to give you guys a basic idea. I play an unassuming weatherman who's mistaken for a famous international spy, and the movie's called 40% Chance of Danger. Um, so, this is a big scene in the movie. Shut up, man. Uh, we may have to stop the special. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I can go on. Um, so this is a big scene in the movie where I bust in on these drug smugglers who are smuggling diamonds inside of drugs. And... I let them have it with the big tagline. So you know how they have like, hasta la vista, baby, or go ahead, make my day? These are a couple of the lines I came up with. So I'm gonna try both of them, see which one plays best. So here's the first one, bust in on them, let them have it, here we go. Well, I hope you brought a monkey, cause I'm about to get bananas. <laughs> Boom. Okay, hold your applause till you've heard all of them. Uh, all right, the second one, Ammon, this is gonna knock your socks off. <laughs> well, looks like somebody's got a death wish, and I'm gonna grant that wish, cause I'm a big fairy. <laughs> thank you, thank you uh, very much. Um, I think it's gonna be a big hit. whole homeschool group, they're into it, folks, they get it! I expect at least six sales right there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, you guys, um, could, could you play that? I, um, I gotta get going now, and um, I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. Um, you know, I walked up here tonight, to a room full of strangers. But I'm leaving here with a room full of friends. I met so many great people here tonight, well, with Tom and that lady. And I just look back on tonight's show and think about all the great times we had here tonight. You know, remember when I first walked up here?
I'm a big fairy. All right, thank you guys very much. My name's Tom Clark. I had a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Thank you, homeschoolers. Have a great night. Thank you.